What are the chances that in the same sky-watching season, we meet the third ever confirmed interstellar visitor in a long period comet that last swung by when humans were still painting on cave walls? This October, Comet 3i Atlas is storming in from beyond the stars at a blistering 61 kilometers per second, while Comet C2025R2, or SWAN, glides in from the distant Oort cloud, trailing a luminous green veil. This cosmic coincidence isn't just rare. It's rewriting our playbook for planetary defense, solar system chemistry, and sheer celestial spectacle. But discovery was only the opening act. On 1st July 2025, the Atlas Telescope in Chile startled astronomers by flagging a hypervelocity object on a sun-bound hyperbolic course, evidence that it had sailed in from interstellar space. Later, this object would be known as 3I Atlas, a strange visitor from the unknown depths of the cosmos. Barely 10 weeks later, on 12th September 2025, amateur astronomer Vladimir Bazugli combed through SOHO's SWAN camera images and spotted a second surprise. Comet C2025R2, soon nicknamed SWAN R2, lurking just inside the solar glare. Statistically, the odds of snagging both a long-period comet and an interstellar one in the same quarter of the same year hover in the millions to one range. Yet, against all probability, two icy strangers were suddenly sharing the celestial stage. And the real excitement was only beginning as size and origin paint two very different portraits. 3i Atlas's orbit is unbound. Its eccentricity is greater than one, so by definition it can't stay. Spectra captured by ESO's Very Large Telescope reveal familiar cometary gases. Cyanogen, diatomic carbon, a whisper of carbon dioxide. Unlike wild speculative sources may suggest, analysis finds no alien spacecraft, no exotic metals, just an extrasolar snowball behaving a lot like a local one. The nucleus, however, estimates a range from up to 5.6 kilometers, based on reflected light and assumed albedo. Still, the speed is jaw-dropping. At perihelion on October 30th, 2025, it will whip around the sun at roughly 61 km per second, fast enough to cross the continental USA in a mere minute. Its tail already fans out more than 200,000 kilometers, and if it brightens to magnitude 5 to 6, binoculars could catch it from dark sights. Now meet the ancient cousin whose orbit dwarfs recorded history. The Ancient Returner. The comet C2025R2, SWAN, loops the sun roughly once every 22,554 years, give or take a tribal migration or two. Early photometry hints it might crest at magnitude 4 around October 21, 2025, flirting with clear-eyed visibility. Its coma glows emerald thanks to carbon fluorescing in sunlight, a classic green comet. By the way, claims on social media suggest Swan R2 is 100 times bigger than 3i Atlas. Here is a reality check. We don't have a direct size measurement yet. Absolute magnitude models suggest a nucleus a few kilometers across, possibly larger than 3i Atlas, but nowhere near 100 times unless Atlas proves to be a pebble. The number is unverified, and astronomers are still refining albedo assumptions. Even without inflated numbers, Swan R2 spectacle is undeniable. If it continues brightening at its current pace, Swan R2's tail could span five lunar diameters by mid-October, it could dominate astrophotography sessions and reveal a tail so wide it blurs entire constellations in long exposure images. With its rare orbit, dramatic appearance, and potential for clear-eyed visibility, this ancient traveler promises to be one of the most captivating sky shows of the decade. So, are these voyagers on a collision course, or simply ships passing in the cosmic night? It's time for trajectories and myth-busting, finally answering, will they hit each other? Media headlines, eye-catching thumbnails, and sensationalistic news suggest a catastrophic collision and make you wonder. Will they collide? And are they even a threat to us? Let us take a look past the fluff and crunch the numbers. 3i Atlas slices through the inner solar system on a retrograde track tilted about 175 degrees to the ecliptic. Essentially the same plane as Earth's orbit, but running the opposite direction. Meanwhile, Swan R2 coasts in on a gentle 4.5 degrees prograde tilt. 
Lay those planes on a three-dimensional model and they miss like ships on different highways, separated vertically by millions of kilometers. In sheer distance, the gap is even clearer. Atlas never comes closer than 1.8 astronomical units, roughly 270 million kilometers from Earth. While Swan's close pass on October 21st, 2025, bottoms out near 0.27 astronomical units, still outside Venus's orbit and 40 times farther than the Moon. NASA's Planetary Defense Office phrases it bluntly, Comet 3I Atlas poses no threat to Earth and will remain far away. That hasn't stopped viral posts from claiming the pair radiate gigawatts from hidden reactors. Yet every professional instrument, from Neo Wise's infrared cameras to the James Webb Space Telescope's near-IR spectrograph, sees nothing but ordinary cometary outgassing. Water, carbon dioxide, cyanogen, and dust, all heated by sunlight alone. No excess heat signatures, no mystery isotopes, no physics-defying power plants. So, despite dramatic sky charts that look like intersecting lines, gravity's three-dimensional math keeps both visitors comfortably distant. Extraordinary claims still need extraordinary evidence. And right now, ordinary comet science explains everything we see. But having two such different wanderers at once still hands astronomers a once-in-a-generation laboratory. Having both an interstellar sample and a deep freeze Oort cloud relic in the same observing window is like comparing two recipes for cosmic soup. JWST will target 3I Atlas's 3 micron band to sniff out organics, while the 30 meter telescope plans polarimetry on Swan R2 to probe dust grain sizes. Grinding these data sets together can refine models of planet formation, migration, and volatile delivery. Citizen scientists aren't left out. The Comet Observation Database is begging for backyard photometry to map coma expansion rates. Your 8-inch Dobsonian could contribute to peer-reviewed science this fall. Yet just when things heat up, the sky threatens to fall silent. A brief solar hide-and-seek. Mid-October shoves both comets into solar conjunction. Our line of sight grazes the sun. Contrary to clickbait rumors of a 21-day observation blackout, Ground-based losses last four to seven days. Meanwhile, SOHO, STEREO, and the Parker Solar Probe keep snapping coronagraph images. When they re-emerge, what fireworks await? Two wanderers, one from another star, one from our own icy backyard, sharing a single autumn sky. Fluke or foreshadowing? Some astronomers argue that improved surveys are merely exposing a steady trickle of interstellar debris. Others suspect a recent galactic perturbation nudged extra material our way. So here's the question to leave you with. Are we glimpsing a hidden highway of interstellar traffic? Or witnessing a once-in-a-lifetime cosmic roll of the dice? Drop your theories below and keep your telescopes tuned. Our next update lands the moment fresh data pierces the sun's glare. Until then, clear skies and curious minds.